Hey guys, so uh, do you like my messy room? Probably should clean that. Probably should have done that before. Yeah, I don't know why am I doing this right now. I know how to clean it, just push it all out of the shot. Okay, so this week's topic is... Oh my god. <laughs> this week's topic is self-care. It would have been fitting if it was like... Messy rooms. So basically, self care is a creepy, sterile way of saying things you do to de stress. When I have the option to, I like to go and mosh. Moshing in a mosh pit? I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. Some people like to do to get their aggression out, whatever. I'm not very the uh, very aggressive person. I just think moshing is fun. I don't like breaking people's noses. Thank goodness that has not happened. Good-natured moshing is a fantastic way to enjoy your night in de-stress. Another thing I like to do is reading comic books. I think a lot, and when I have really big, really tough things going on, thinking about it isn't doing any good, and you just have to get out of your head. So ways I like to get out of my head are... Um, my number one choice is going to the movies. I mean, like, going to an actual movie theater, sitting in the dark, and just, like, losing yourself in a really big screen, and with loud sound, it's just, it's awesome. Usually those are, is not good to de-stress to something that is, like, a horror movie, or something that stresses you out, but I don't like those anyways. Horror movies freak me out. Don't even, don't even get me started on horror movies. If you're looking at this video and you're like, Oh my god, I need to de-stress right now. Help me, Andy. Help me. Go out and see the Avengers. Do it. Go. Right now. They're waiting for you. They want to know why aren't you there having a good time. Getting out of your head and watching epic superheroes battle evil, awesome, hot guys in really epic headgear. That's what you should be doing right now. Why are you still here? Dude, seriously, go to the Avengers! If I can, I like to go to the movies, read comics, or just read a really good story. Um, I like novels too. You know, I just, I like getting out of my head and getting into a different world, you know? I love that. Video games, role playing games. People have asked me for ways to de stress and self care, and they're like, oh, hey, well, do you recommend playing, like, first-person shooter games and stuff? Absolutely not. Some people say that's, like, a really good way for them to deal with their own aggression. And, um, yeah, that's better than, you know, actually going and hurting people. But honestly, like, I find that playing games where you are killing people and you're trying not to be killed, that stresses me out more and gets me really worked up. It works for some people, but like if you really if you really need to feel better, you really need to take care of yourself. I personally would not recommend doing anything violent. You know, even if it is just a video game, that's still that's still being violent. I'm not trying to get into a controversial topic, but for video game's sake, there's certain kind of violence that's like you do, but it's not really violent. You know, stuff like um talking about like 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 shooting coconuts at bad guys and knocking them out like honestly i don't count that like go find a game where you can throw coconuts at people and knock them out that is a good way to de-stress i fully support coconut throwing not machine guns coconuts sometimes people are like you should write poetry um i'm not sure i'm supposed to write poetry <laughs> the best poem i ever wrote it was about owning a pet bat, wearing a red sweater, buying a steamroller and rolling it over. Granted, I was four. That sounds really violent. But I, but I promise you it wasn't meant to be violent. I just, I really liked steamrollers and bats. Hence why I should not write poetry. What else? Usually my best way to de-stress is just go to sleep. Yeah. Sleep. Can't go wrong with sleep. Well, I suppose you can if you find the right terrible circumstance, like skydiving, right before you have to pull the lever. I just kind of listen to my own needs in the moment. If I'm just really stressed out because I have, like, way too much to do, then I just try to have a good time for a little bit, you know? It honestly just kind of depends on my situation. Well, I hope that helped, and I'll see you later. Adios!